I'm uh, Federico from Mamu Design, and uh, I'm gonna make a tutorial on uh, the new SDK wizard to create uh, uh, some new scenery. Of course, to start, we have to download the SDK itself, and we have to um, first we have to um, enable developer mode. In the same the main page, you go to options, general options, developers, and Enable developer mode. A new toolbar on the top, apply and save. Go back, and now we are in to developer mode. Click help, SDK installer. This is gonna open a web browser to download the SDK installer. It's a 1.7 gigabyte file, so download it. Once so you have done downloading the installer, run it. Of course, it's into download, speak file, uh, SDK installer. Uh, we are version number uh, 0.13. I agree, install, yeah, of course, no problem, it's a good one. Maybe your um, antivirus uh, can complain about that. It's a nice file, don't, uh, don't be afraid. Main the main location, the default location is your C drive, MFSS, SDK, those are the tools, the documentation for the SDK. Okay, so back in um, FlexM, we are going to create a new project, but before creating a new project, we must have a place to, um, to put all our files, a folder in our hard drive. Folder will be in uh, Documents and MFS Projects. Okay, empty folder. I'm going to create a new folder. Uh, with the name of our project. I'm gonna call that uh, Skyway Mont Blanc. This is just a name, it's whatever you want. So, to create our scenery, let's go to Tools, Project Editor. You have um, Two main, uh, two main windows to the project editor, the project editor itself and the inspector. You can also uh, take uh, the, the windows and move them all around your, um, your screen or of course you can stack the windows upon each other and you have some uh, tabs. Okay, we're gonna create a new project, so click on project and new project. Okay, the project folder will be the folder we have just created, so Documents, MFS project, Skyway Mont Blanc, and select this folder and give it a name Skyway Mont Blanc. No blanks. Okay. Uh, package type um, it, this one will be um, a scenery, uh, it's not an airport, so we're gonna cl click on custom and package name. We have uh, a list uh, here, in black, uh, with the naming conventions. So I'm gonna call that site seeing Skyway Mont Blanc. Uh, please press enter every time you you write uh, here on the text boxes to confirm. Package title will be Skyway Mont Blanc. Enter. Uh, package creator, that is me. This is your company. And this is my company, manufacturing only for aircraft. Scenery type will be content type, will be a scenery. Okay, so please create. And uh, we have a new window called Asset Group. Uh, an asset group is a folder where uh, the source file of a 
your assets are put. An assets could be um, a model, or could be a scene, or could be a shape. We we're gonna see that in a moment. So my first asset group name will be um, my scene, and I'm gonna call that Skyway Mont Blanc Scene, and press Enter. Asset name. I'm using the same Skyway Mont Blanc scene and the scene is going to be a bgl bgl uh, is the placing uh, is, is the compiled format of uh, sceneries press create and this is going to create a project which is sky sightseeing skyway one blank if you click on the arrow you will see the package we have just created we have created now Skyway Mont Blanc scene. Uh, this is enough to start our scenery. To add another asset group, you have to click on the on your project package, which is the blue one. Click on the inspector and click Add Asset Group. Nothing's happened. It's back. Uh, there is a window um, under uh, under that under the project editor. You can uh, see it, uh, click it on the project editor itself, and here is the window. Uh, next asset group will be our model lib, where all our uh, custom models are placed. And I'm going to name it Skyway Mont Blanc Model Lib. Enter. And its name will be, of course, Skyway Mont Blanc Model Lib and enter. Uh, it's gonna be a model lib type of scenery. I'm gonna click create and in our project we are gonna see two assets, a group, model lib and scene. Okay, um, probably we, we must add another type of, um, of asset group for uh, polygons. It's not mandatory, we will see later. So click on your project, inspector, add as a group. Of course, the window is not here, so I'm gonna call the project editor, and I'm gonna call the new asset group Skyway. This is my naming convention, but yours can be different. Polygons, and uh, uh, polygons are, of course, BGL, so create that. Okay, back on Inspector, uh, we're gonna see mm, the, the characteristic of our uh, project. Company name is not sizing, but it's Mambo Design. Package name is Skyway Mont Blanc. Manufacturer only for aircraft. T title Skyway Mont Blanc. Creator Mambo Design is Miss Scenery. Content type. Okay, we gonna, uh, we need to add a thumbnail time made for our project with that size um, I'm gonna pick it from the SDK samples so navigate to our, your C drive MFS SDK samples uh, simple scenery uh, package uh, definition I think is here content info thumbnail and open okay this is our thumbnail with that very size. Back, we can uh, we can save our project. Open the console uh, by clicking uh, your tilde key. This this thing is this tilde. Uh, clean it. Uh, so clear everything. And oh, it's, it's that much big. Can resize that. And uh, click build all. Okay, uh, we have uh, some problems because uh, the the wizard is actually mm, some box. Uh, as always, investigating on that, I already know because I I call them and they answer me. They are very kind people, and uh, we have a problem here with our output path for uh, uh, art project and for polygons. Uh, this is because uh, 
the, um, the wizard, uh, once we create the, the asset groups, uh, we'll add an output there directory, output directory, um, which is not compliant with, uh, with the compiler. This, this is the message from the compiler. To fix that, it's very simple. We can click on each asset group, so polygon, inspector, uh, output there, blank it, and our output there should be in the form of scenery. And this is a word scenery. Uh, this is the, the default one, which we can see in the examples. The same goes for the scene inspector and uh, I'm going to scenery word uh, scenery. Please remember to press enter to confirm the text box and the model lib. The default one is not this, but scenery global scenery. Okay, uh, let's confirm that. Let's clear the, the console, build our project. You want to save your project? Of course, I want to save it. Okay, we have errors. Okay, we have errors because we are pointing for each asset group to an asset directory we, uh, which actually does not exist. If you go to your uh, project, you see that uh, the, um, the wizard creates for us some files, but it doesn't create the package sources folders. So we have to create them. So create a new folder, package sources, New folder is pgls new folder uh, skyway mont blanc polygons. Okay, this is one, and uh, another one is seen in inspector is of course in the bgls. So I'm gonna in the bgls create a new folder. Okay. So polygons and scenes, and uh, uh, the model lib is in another place called, yeah, the model lib, where is my model lib? Okay, model lib inspector is in model libs folder, package sources slash model libs. So package sources, I'm gonna create a new folder, model libs, and it's called Skyway Moblan model lib. So I'm gonna control C and create a new folder, control V. Okay, so we should be um, okay with the folder naming. So let's clear all and build again the package. Of course, we have no error, no worrying, and package is correctly built is done and uh, we can go ahead building our scenery.